Hannah is the same age as this war and has never known peace. Her family's meagre possessions are crammed into this former school. Like many of the children here, these young eyes have seen much of the brutality of this conflict, but have never seen home. An entire generation has been imprisoned in poverty. Across Syria, the dispossessed who fled the fighting have camped out wherever they can. This school in Jeret Artus near Damascus is now home to 141 people. It bears the scars of the random violence which forced Samia Dawood's family to flee. She gets by selling snacks to other families living here. Her husband Shahadi Hanoun was killed fighting for the regime a year ago. Her family have fled to Lebanon, but she and her two children can't afford to leave. I cry every day because they don't have a father. I feel sad all the time. My children have been deprived of everything, even their father. It's been the most dangerous place in the world for children. Five years is a lifetime for a child. This war has been going on for five years. There are ten-year-olds in Syria who've never seen the inside of a classroom. The children here are just a tiny fraction of the estimated six million in Syria in need of emergency humanitarian assistance. It's thought perhaps as many as three million no longer live in their own homes and up to two million children no longer attend school. The opportunities of this generation have been changed forever by this conflict. But it is not the material possessions which they have lost that affect these children. It's the loved ones who are suddenly gone. They ask about him every day. I told them he has gone to heaven, but they don't understand. She sleeps in the same place where her father used to sleep. She is waiting for him to come home. Syria's war children need this ceasefire to hold. Their future depends on it. Dam Rivers, News at 10, Shadet Artus.